in the future, God's willing, <laughs> I'd like to become a doctor, a lawyer. I've never really heard anyone say, I want to become an artist. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Kaylee. Today we're going to talk about choosing to study arts in general as a broader topic, but we're also going to kind of cater it to my personal experience and discuss choosing to study art as a Jamaican. If you didn't already know, I was born and raised in Jamaica, but I'm currently attending New York University pursuing studio arts as my major. I think it's sort of an important conversation to have, especially because of the stigma pursuing or deciding to pursue art as a professional career. Um, so I decided, I guess it would be a good idea to share my thoughts on it, share my experience. And yeah, before we get into it, please subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate it. And also follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description and also somewhere on the screen. And yeah, let's do it. All right, so to start, I guess we can kind of talk about the general stigma that's surrounding the decision to pursue art or a creative career professionally. I think a lot of people are of the belief that if you pursue art, you won't make money, you'll be broke. And I mean, those are fair opinions. At the same time, I think those beliefs are sort of misguided because I think a lot of people who decide to pursue art or just are deciding to pursue it because it's something that they're passionate about and we shouldn't discourage someone from pursuing their passions you know what i mean like i don't think that's necessarily productive especially in jamaica i think uh when i was kind of thinking about what i wanted to study i was surrounded by people who were like yeah i'm gonna study medicine i'm gonna be an engineer and then even growing up when you have like career day or those little like i don't know children whatever things it's like okay i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer if you watch school challenge quiz a lot of people say or not everyone but a lot of people are like yeah my name is xyz in the future god's willing <laughs> i'd like to become a doctor a lawyer i've never really heard anyone say i want to become an artist and i think we should kind of change that because it's very much a productive career it's very much something that can kind of take you places so i think it's important for us to kind of destroy that stigma that it's not a good idea to pursue art um, i also think it's important for I guess the younger generation because I think we should change the narrative and stop kind of forcing it in their brains that you can only you can only pursue medicine, you can only pursue law, you can only pursue I don't know, whatever other general okay, okay I'm not actually like discrediting medicine and law those are very important careers i'm just saying they're not the only careers out there and i think it's important for children especially to understand that so that when they're growing up they have more options if they end up wanting to pursue medicine anyway then that's great it's because they're passionate about it and not because that's all they know so basically when i was deciding to attend college <laughs> I had it in mind that I would double major in art and economics. That did not work out, okay? Like after literally a semester in college, I didn't even take any econ classes and I, I was already like, I'm not doing econ. Like, I, I mean, I got good grades in it in high school, but like, do I really love it? Is this something that I see myself doing after college long term? Is this something I see myself being willing to apply for jobs for? I, I, I just didn't. And I was like, okay, no, let's scratch that, rewind. I'm not double majoring in econ. But at the same time, because of this stigma, I just felt so pressured to pursue something else in addition to art. And I don't think that's fair to kind of cause that pressure for um, creatives. You shouldn't feel like the decision to pursue art is insufficient. It's in no way insufficient. There's literally so many different things that you can do with art, okay? I, 
I should just like insert a list that just goes on and on and on for like the entire video. But seriously, yeah, I just felt this pressure to add something else so that when people ask me, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm pursuing art and so that there's no like, okay, so what are you going to do with that? Which definitely has happened and I'm sure a lot of people can attest to that. I remember when I was going back to Jamaica for the summer after my freshman year, I spent the entire summer there and I was literally so anxious for people to ask me, oh, what are you studying? Because, you know, that would be the first time back in Jamaica since starting college. So I knew I would get that question a lot and it made me so anxious because I knew people would look at me a certain way and they'd be like, okay, what are you going to do with that? Uh, you know what I mean? And it's not even, I mean, I, I'll give people the benefit of the doubt that 50% of them are maybe genuinely curious what I'm interested in pursuing in art. But I'd say the other 50% are like, interesting so how are you going to make money um and yeah that was kind of difficult for me to get over even now um and i've definitely sort of grown confident in saying yeah i'm majoring in art this is what i want to pursue and that's it i don't need to pursue anything else i've even had i guess people or it was one person um when they asked me or they didn't even ask me it was like oh so what are you studying medicine and i was like no <laughs> like i don't know like this is what i'm saying like it's such it's so it, it i don't know it's like peer pressure almost from mostly the older generation honestly to pursue medicine because it will make you money and become a lawyer because it will make you money and that's oh my gosh oh. i'm so tired of hearing that on that note i'm also very lucky that i have parents who support my decision to pursue art and just honestly i'm really grateful to have parents that trust in that decision and know that okay i can't force her to pursue something that she doesn't want to do they've always kind of given me the option to make my own decisions even in life not just in terms of my career choice um and yeah i'm really grateful for that i know there are a lot of parents out there that i don't know kind of make the decision for their children and that's not fair <laughs> like it's literally of course your parents should have some sort of say they have life experiences to be able to tell you um, about maybe their mistakes and they want a certain kind of life for you and so i kind of get where it's coming from but at the same time you have to want to pursue the thing that your parents are telling you to pursue don't pursue it just because you know to, you want to make them happy but you also need to be happy for yourself in what you're pursuing you're the one that's going to have to wake up every single morning nine to five maybe depending on the career um and go to work not them so you can't make decisions based on someone else's opinion someone else's beliefs you have to want to pursue the thing for yourself another thing is that this thing about choosing a career because it will make you money i don't know how good of an idea that is you'll end up so unhappy it's unreal like i'm i feel very fortunate that i figured out early on in my college career that i didn't actually want to pursue econ as a second major i got good grades in it in high school but that's like literally the smallest factor ever in deciding what you should pursue professionally um i don't think i don't know i'm just like thinking about it and i'm imagining myself sitting through a bunch of econ and math classes and being miserable and then having to go home and study for those same tests and exams and write that doesn't no i'm not doing that like no 
all I'm saying is pursue what you're passionate about. I chose to pursue art. I sound like a politician or something. I chose. <laughs> I chose to pursue art because I just couldn't see myself pursuing anything else. Like I was so passionate about it um, that almost every single interest was related to art in some way. And every time I, I mentioned this in a previous video, but when I was younger in high school, every time I had a lot of different assignments, the art one would be due like two weeks from now. And I'd be like, have to start that one first. And I think that that was when it clicked for me. I was like, okay, well, clearly this is what I want to do and this is what is driving me. So this is what I'm going to pursue. It's definitely difficult coming from Jamaica where everyone um, kind of looks down upon it. And I think that also feeds into, into the culture of how successful the career is because if I'm pursuing something and I'm in a society that doesn't necessarily support it in the same way that maybe they support someone who's studying medicine, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult for that person, the artistic person, I mean, <laughs> for that person to prosper because they don't have that backing. You know what I mean? I'll give you an example. If you are an artist and you're selling a painting and you're pricing it at, let's say, $50,000, which is fair. A lot of people might look at you and be like, $50,000 for what? I could have get somebody to do that for free. But that's another conversation. So yeah, I think there's a lot that needs to happen for both the people pursuing it and also everyone else who's supporting them. I think it's important to listen to what these people have to say, okay? like. They're, I don't think people are pursuing art because they're um, looking for an easy way out. That is the worst thing you could tell somebody, honestly. Like that's a little offensive, um, the idea that pursuing art is easy because there's such a stigma that makes it even harder to pursue it. There's so much pressure to do well in it um, because people already think you're not going to be successful. Like if you pursue, I keep using medicine because Jamaica has a good medical program and I think it's really good that we do, but it's also, it doesn't really make you feel good as a teenager or whatever growing up to know that that's, that's the top choice. That's the top choice for your friends around you. That's the top choice for your parents, your parents' friends, your family. They're like, oh my God, she's pursuing medicine. She's gonna be so successful. The other thing is this idea that if you pursue art, you can't live in Jamaica. Or if you pursue art as a Jamaican, you can't live in Jamaica. And that's definitely something I get because as I said before, it's a little bit harder if you don't have that uh, society or that environment around you to support that career. So I definitely get that belief, um, but at the same time, nothing is impossible. Like we have to kind of, we can't just sit here and say, okay, it not going to work. We have to move forward. I so, honestly, I sound like such a politician. <laughs> Anyways, we have to move forward. We can't just sit down and say, okay, we're not gonna make it in Jamaica, let's move. No, that's, then literally the art, the art world in Jamaica will never prosper. If all of us are saying, okay, we're not gonna make it as an artist in Jamaica, let's move on, no. Let's change the narrative, guys. You know I'm saying that we should dispel the belief that if you want to pursue art in Jamaica, you have to move away or you can't live there while having left Jamaica to pursue art um, in college. The thing is, the reason I decided to do that was because I wanted the opportunity to not just pursue art, I wanted to be able to take a lot of different classes outside of that. And if I had stayed in Jamaica to pursue art, it would sort of be one or the other. And I that was necessary for me in my college education, especially because in the beginning, I was deciding, I was kind of thinking about pursuing two things. Um, now that I've come to my senses, I still sort of, need that flexibility and I need just the freedom to be able to take classes outside of art because I do have other interests. So that was sort of my 
uh, that was what uh, led to my decision to pursue art abroad. Another layer to that is the idea of going back to Jamaica after pursuing art. And that's another conversation in and of itself. And I think that's again another layer of peer pressure like yes like you're already in the place that will give you all the opportunities and this and that but there's so much more to that and again that's a whole nother conversation i'm just saying that which we should sort of work to dispel the belief that if you want to pursue art you have to move away from jamaica or you can't live in jamaica um yeah i don't think I've had a, a negative experience per se with my decision to pursue art. At the same time, there have been little things along the way that um, have been kind of red flags in my mind. Not just in terms of my decision, but also in terms of the reaction of others around me. So yeah, the point is, there is a, or there are several points being made here. There is a stigma um, around the decision to pursue art professionally. There's an even greater stigma to pursue it as a Jamaican. And we should kind of work to dispel the belief that you won't be successful if, if you pursue an artist, art, ugh, I can't talk. If you pursue an artistic career, there are a number of things that you can do with an artistic career. You can pursue the fine arts where you can work in a museum capacity, and that doesn't even necessarily have to be art making. You can become a curator, you can become a museum director. So if you kind of like to be around that artistic environment, then that might be a way for you to go. And then outside of the fine arts, you also have the commercial art world where you have maybe graphic design can fall into that category, illustration, um, photography. There's literally so many artistic careers that each have their own way of, I guess, not just providing you joy um, as an artistic person, but also have so many different avenues for you to become successful. Um, so yeah, I feel like I kind of went on a tangent for like the entire video, but that's, I kind of just, I didn't really think too much about it. It's such a topic that I could talk for hours about um, and there's a lot to be said and I feel like if I keep talking I'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and this video will never end because this is an ongoing conversation. That being said, feel free to leave your comments in the description below. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's keep this conversation going and yeah, like, comment, comment for sure because this is important like comment share subscribe um follow me on instagram and yeah i'll see you next time bye